In today's video, I'm going to be deep cleaning my bedroom. It's been a while since I did any cleaning at all in my bedroom, so we're going to get it all done today. Okay, so aside from the ring light and the tripod, which I'm going to be using to film this video, let's take a look at how messy my bedroom is right now. I will be the first to admit that it's been a long time since I cleaned my bedroom or wiped anything off or straightened anything up. It's okay, cause that kind of stuff happens. We've all been there. Nothing to be ashamed of. Sometimes life just happens. But today I'm gonna be getting some cleaning done. So these are the products that I'm gonna be using today for cleaning. I've got a multi-purpose cleaner inside this bottle. It's actually Mr. Clean inside there mixed with water. I'm going to be using the HEB brand foam glass cleaner. I've got a roll of paper towels and a cleaning rag, which is made specifically for mirrors and glass. I also forgot I was going to be using this duster I got from Timu and a step letter because I can't reach. <laughs> get rid of these plastic bottles and these cups, put them in the kitchen, and I've got a garbage bag here for any garbage that I come across and for the paper towels I'm gonna to be using to clean. I'm starting off by dusting my blinds on both sides and I'm using this handheld duster that I got from Timu. I really like it because it's extendable and it reaches a pretty good distance, which is good for me because I'm kind of short. So I'm gonna dust the blinds first and then open them up so I can clean the windows and the windowsill as well. So instead of using air freshener in my room or some kind of room sprays, I use Dossier all over my home. And if I'm not using Dossier, I do use things that are non-toxic, such as Mrs. Myers and stuff like that. But I'm mostly a Dossier girl, so y'all know that I love my Dossier perfumes. I use these all over myself. They make some of my favorite perfumes. And basically what Dossier is, Dossier makes perfumes that are inspired by your favorite scents. I have tried so many of Dossier perfumes over the years. I've probably owned at least a 100 different perfumes of theirs, and they all smell amazing. So. This one is the Powdery Orange Flower. You can see that I'm literally almost out of it. So I'm gonna be using this in my room today. It's inspired by a Valentino perfume, which I've never smelled a day in my life, but like I always say, it doesn't even matter to me because Dossier perfumes smell amazing. Not only that, they are non-toxic, cruelty-free, phthalate and paraben-free, and UV filter-free. So the top notes of this is mandarin, bergamot, and ginger. Middle notes is orange flower, white flowers, and gardenia. And the base notes is vanilla, tonka bean, and musk. So I'm gonna be spraying this all over my curtains for now. I'll also be spraying it in other parts of my bedroom, but we're gonna go ahead and do the curtains for now. smells absolutely amazing. It smells so soft, powdery, 
floral, fruity, so feminine. I love this scent for my bedroom. So this little area is usually so organized, but as you can see, it is a total mess. I'm gonna be organizing this today. And as you can see up here, this is my Dossier perfume collection. So I've actually went through a lot of them, used them up. A few of them I gifted to family members just because whenever I was wearing it that day, they asked me what I was wearing and they loved it so much, so I gifted it to them. There's a few other perfumes up here as well, but I'm gonna be organizing all of this. These are all new Dossier perfumes that I haven't even really broke into yet. But yeah, I'm gonna be cleaning up this mess. I'm thinking about moving this on the other side of the desk and moving the desk closer to the wall. I'm not sure yet. We'll see how it looks and how I feel about it, but I'm gonna go ahead and move this for now. I really wanted to move this around a little bit just to change it up and I did move it but I ended up moving it back because I really didn't like the placement because of the canvas mostly but also I couldn't move the vanity all the way over because of the placement of the plug. In order to have my light up mirror plugged in it has to be plugged in here because that's where it reaches to so that just didn't end up working for me. But anyways I moved everything off of the vanity and wiped it all down good it was pretty dusty especially the mirror and behind the mirror and even the light bulbs on the mirror was dusty so I cleaned all of that and then I just put everything back in its place afterwards
All right, so I did not like the placement of it closer to the wall, so I just moved it back where it was, and I feel so much better about it. But it looks all nice and neat and clean now, so that's good. So now I am moving Alan's nightstand so I can clean that area underneath. I'm just using my hand vac from Backlife and the Mr. Clean Cleaner with a paper towel to wipe the floor off under where the nightstand sits. And then I'm going to wipe off his nightstand and the things that are sitting on his nightstand as well. So I'm going to be stripping the bed today and putting on these new sheets that Alan just got me from TJ Maxx. The brand name is the Havana Collection. It's a six piece set. These are so soft. They're going to feel amazing on here and they're this light gray. So what I'm going to do is actually take the blue ones off. They need to be washed anyway. I'm going to dust the fan and I know some of that's probably going to fall on the bed. So I'm just going to let it fall and then vacuum it off. That's fine, but it does need to be dusted. And then, yeah, I'm going to be putting the new sheets on. it wasn't that bad at all and this little thing pretty much caught it all so too much didn't fall so I'm happy about that so now that I've dusted the fan I'm gonna go ahead and take these sheets off and then clean on my side of the bed I'm gonna wipe off my vanity as well and back in that area and clean my mirror and then the TV and the TV stand Now I'm putting my new sheets on. I'm gonna do that and then make the bed after. So the sheet set came with four pillowcases, but I'm only gonna be using two of them. And it also came with a top sheet, but I'm not gonna be using that either. Ever since we got our cooling blanket, we quit using a top sheet because the cooling blanket feels so good on your skin. But if you use a top sheet, you can't feel it. And the same with the pillowcases, which is why I'm only using two from the new set because the pillowcases that we sleep with are are also cooling like the cooling blanket so we really like them and I didn't want to switch those up we should work it out you know we should work it out before I'm too invested I should probably ask you ask you all my questions get to know you better So 
So now I'm spraying my Dossier perfume around and then I'm gonna vacuum the floor again just a little bit to make sure it's all nice and clean. If you wanna know more about Dossier, I'll have them linked down below. I highly recommend them, I always do. I've been using Dossier for years. So if you wanna know more about them or check out their selection, just check out the description down below. Cause I'm not ready to give you my heart yet Before I'm too invested, I should probably ask ya Ask you all my questions, get to know you better Alright, so I am officially done with my bedroom. Everything smells amazing in here from the cleaner and the dossier. And everything is nice and neat. No, it's not perfect, but it's nice and neat. Like this right here is driving me crazy, but it'll be okay. Anyways, I'm glad I got this done today. It really needed it. So I feel really good about it. Everything's straightened up. Smelling good, looking good. I think I'm going to open up these windows and let the natural light come in so I can turn the light off and put the ring light away. Yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I hope it motivated you and inspired you to get up and get some cleaning done. Thanks so much for taking time out of your day to watch my video. If you like this video, give it a like. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. If you have anything to say, leave it down below in the comments because as always, I would love to hear from you and I'll see y'all next time. Bye!